The designer of Queen Camilla's coronation gown revealed he was asked in a very relaxed way to create the dress. A close friend of the Queen, Bruce Oldfield was given the honor of designing Her Majesty's dress for the ceremony earlier this month. King Charles and Camilla were officially crowned during the ceremony at Westminster Abbey on May 6 in front of the royal family. Beneath her coronation robe, the Queen wore a floor-length modern ivory peau de soie silk dress designed by Mr. Oldfield, embroidered with silver and gold flower design and celebratory bunting. The dress also featured the names of her children and grandchildren and floral emblems of the four nations of the United Kingdom. During an appearance at the RHS Chelsea Flower Show, Mr. Oldfield revealed he was asked in a relaxed, casual way to create the dress. He said, people called it the capping of my career but the career is not over just yet. It was a great honor. It was asked in a very, kind of, relaxed, casual way. She said, oh, can you do my, coronation dress? And I replied, oh yes, mum. Beatrice steps out in her nicest outfit ever and royal fans are obsessed Princess Beatrice looked summery as she attended the Hill House UK launch dinner at Oker in the National Gallery. Stepping out in Hill House home apparel, she wore the Daphne Red Shell Vine striped cotton dress, priced at $175, around £141. Take a look at the pictures here. The dress took around six years to design but Mr. Oldfield has been designing for Camilla for over a decade. The designer said he had great fun during the process. Both the King and Queen's coronation outfits are now on display in the ballroom at Buckingham Palace. Also on display are the robe of estate worn by the King this time as well as his grandfather George VI for his coronation in 1937, the monarch's cream silk over shirt, his purple coronation tunic and his royal navy trousers. The Royal Collection Trust, the branch of the household that oversees tourist visits, said visitors to the summer opening, which is from July 14 until September 24, will also see the Diamond Jubilee State coach used by the King and Queen on their way to the Abbey. The King and Queen are now set for a second coronation later this summer in a special Scottish ceremony. During the ceremony, due to take place during the first week of July, the royals will be presented with the honours of Scotland. The King will hold a garden party in Edinburgh on July 4, the first since his reign began last September, alongside a host of other engagements, with the ceremony expected to follow. It is likely to be a smaller affair than the ceremony in Westminster Abbey which hosted around 2,000 guests. Don't miss! Charlotte bears striking likeness to the late Queen with her determined look, Prince Andrew clear winner in power struggle with brother King Charles, Sophie not to blame for motorcade crash, say victims family, aside from the ceremony the King and Queen also joined thousands of guests at Windsor Castle for the coronation concert. Charles and Camilla were seen dancing and singing along to the likes of Lionel Richie, Katy Perry and Take That from the Royal Box. Last week the couple stepped out for their first joint public appearance since the celebrations during a visit to Covent Garden in central London.